Welcome to my channel, my name is London, and today we're going to be testing out the new Beauty Blender Foundation. I have the original Beauty Blender Foundation. This is my repurchase. I haven't used this one yet because this is my second one. So I do really, really love the original foundation, so I just had to pick up their new skin tint. And as you guys know, I used to love full coverage, but now I'm in the radiant luminous dewy skin tint phase still in it yes so beauty wonder came out with a foundation that's right up my alley so i'm like yes so this is a light to medium coverage foundation i did get the shade light two this is lighter than the other one that i have of the what are you the Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation, and then the new one is Always On Radiant Skin Tint. So this one I have in the shade 1.4, but it is pretty dark for me right now. And so I got like the second lightest shade because I'm a bit pale right now. So this one is $29 and this one is $40, but it's on sale right now for $20 on Sephora. I don't know if it's on sale anywhere else, but yes, light to medium coverage. The other one is full coverage with like a natural matte finish. This one has a natural radiant finish. We'll see how radiant it is. The last foundation I tried said it was radiant. I didn't really think it was that radiant. And it's also supposed to have a 12 hour breathable wear and apparently 100% of the 30 people who did the clinical trials for this said it wore up to 12 hours. I don't know if I could wear it for 12 hours, so we gotta give it a good shake. This isn't a dropper, which I'm not the biggest fan of because typically droppers, as you can see, it's already getting a bit gunky on the sides and I've only opened this thing maybe two times and it's already getting pretty gunky on the side, so not the biggest fan of that. And I did prime my skin with the Bad Habit Priming Moisturizer. This one, oh, I call it a priming moisturizer. This is a multivitamin moisturizer, but I use it as a priming moisturizer. Beauty Blender does have some primers, but I haven't used these in a while, so I'm sticking with what I have been using with my skin tints lately. All right, so I shook it up. I put just, uh, that looks like a lot. I just put like the whole little dropper on the back of my hand. And of course I got a beauty blender. So let's just do one side. That is a lot more coverage than I was expecting. It is a little bit lighter, like we're in more tan. If this does get a little bit darker it would be perfect but a little hard to find my shade online all right so here is one side with and one side without it looks pretty good so far i don't really know if i'd really call it radiant of course i'm really picky with the word radiant because even like my natural skin i feel like has which is about the same amount of radiant as the foundation does. Let me zoom you guys in so you can get a nice good up close. Um, it feels really lightweight. It doesn't look like it's uh, sticking to any dry spots. I do have a decent amount of dry spots around my nose area because I did have a cold, um, allergies, whatever. I don't really know what it was. Um, so I've been blowing my nose a lot and so i do have some dry spots but so far it looks pretty good on my skin it's not emphasizing pores i'm gonna keep you guys zoomed in for this side it spreads pretty easily and works pretty well with a beauty blender i'd be kind of concerned if it didn't <laughs> okay i really think this is definitely more of a medium coverage if you guys know my channel you guys know that i this is my typical like full coverage look but i really don't like this much coverage on a day-to-day -day basis i mean it is pretty buildable i just layered it up on my nose and 
it did build up pretty easily, but I'd be very weary. Um, a little bit goes a long way, but I would probably use way, way less. Try to do like a dot on each part of your face because this does spread and has a decent amount of coverage to it. I don't have a little towel. Uh, look at how dark my arm is compared to my face. <laughs> oh my God. That's so bad. When I got this foundation, I tested it out on my hand and because my hand is so much darker than my face, I was like, this is gonna be so light, but we're fine, we're okay. All right, I'm gonna be using my YSL Radiant Touch Touche Eclat Concealer. This one is a a little bit of a lighter coverage concealer, but I've had this for a while, so I am deep potting it right now, but I've also really fell in love with it. So <laughs> I have been using this consistently. I think I am going to set this with powder just a little bit. Cause I can already tell around my smile lines that it's gonna <laughs> probably go into my smile lines, so I'm I'm gonna set it. All right, so far, I'm already a little weary of this foundation. It's good, though I'd have to play around with it to see how I like it a little bit more sheared out because this is a little bit too full coverage for me at the moment. Um, I wouldn't really say it's very radiant. It does feel lightweight on the skin, but I feel like you guys can see it's already starting to settle into my lines just a bit. And also on my forehead lines, it's settling a little too much. I do have a very, I, I use expressions a lot. So lines typically does happen with a lot of foundations for me. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll do another little check-in before we get into the wear test. Makeup is done. I finally got to dip into the It's a Mood palette and I absolutely am obsessed with the look that I did. I used the, I used the orange room. Let me know if you guys still want a video on this. I know I'm really late on it, but let me know because I really like how this turned out. Super fall. I'm obsessed, but upon doing the rest of my makeup, the line on my smile line is getting a little bit more prominent. So you guys can see, it's probably gonna get worse throughout the day. We're gonna keep our eye out on it. Um, this one is starting to get a little bit more of a line as well. Uh, forehead lines are also kind of peeking through. Also, I don't know if you guys, it's just gonna be hard to see, but I put on cream blush and then powder bronzer and on my forehead, it kind of disrupted the foundation and made it a little bit patchy. Mm. I don't really wear powder bronzer a lot, but the liquid blush applied pretty well, but the powder didn't really apply that well but it's about 11 20 right now so i'm gonna go about the rest of my day do some errands it is gonna be a little bit hot here in texas so we'll see how this holds up and i'll give you guys an update and i'll probably end my wear test around five o'clock so let's get on into this all right we're having a little mini check-in i'm probably gonna wear this a little bit longer it is about four o'clock and i feel like nothing has really changed about the foundation, hardly at all. I mean, maybe the smile lines got a little bit deeper, but other than that, it really hasn't changed at all that I can tell, um, other than the lines. The spot on my forehead where it got a little patchy is still kind of patchy. I thought maybe my oils would come through, but my oils aren't really coming through with this foundation. I'm a little bit more impressed with how it was moving around uh, with my lines. I thought it was really gonna, my oils were gonna come through and it was gonna be a little bit of a mess, but 
we're looking good. Also, before I forget, if you guys wanna check out another review, my friend Nessa CX Beauty, I'll have her video linked down below. She has more of a medium skin tone. She got the shade medium four. So if you wanted a different perspective, skin tone, definitely check out her video. I have more combination skin. I think her skin is a little bit more dry on the drier side, but now let's get into the next check-in, probably the final check-in. All right, so I gave the foundation another hour and a half and it's gotten a little shinier, I feel like, or maybe it's just in my head, I don't know. But I feel like just right here has gotten a little shinier. I was dyed a little bit more, so maybe that's what it was. I don't know, but I feel like my opinion on this foundation isn't really solid with this review. I feel like I'm gonna have to test it out a little bit, a little bit more. I do want to see what it's like uh, as a little bit of a, a little bit, a lot of bit of a lighter coverage because this is pretty full coverage for me. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't really wear this full of a coverage typically. So I would like to try it out a little bit as a lighter coverage, but you guys let me know what you think. I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. I just feel like I do want to experiment with it a little bit more. So let me know. If you guys wanna watch more videos, I do have another video on another new skin tint by YSL. That video will be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here when you click on it and subscribe to my channel.